Hello everybody, it's Michelle and I've got a really cute idea that I wanted to show you guys today. We're going to be doing ladybug appetizers with tomatoes and olives. I thought this would be great to go along with that garden party theme that I gave you a few ideas for last year. This would be beautiful to add to that and so much fun. Now, I know you've probably seen these before, but everything that I looked up when I first wanted to do this showed making some sort of cream cheese mixture and dyeing that black in order to try to get the spots, and then it would kind of ooze and drip off of there. And I just found that it's so much easier to just draw on the spots and create your ladybug using the black marker out of these food writers. They're made with edible food coloring for ink so that is just perfect and I thought that just simplified it so much and I've got two different ways I'm going to show this to you guys today the first one is my favorite although it's a little more tedious I guess it's a little more difficult to manipulate so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tomato and cut it in half lengthwise and that's going to let my ladybug sit flat the way I want it to on my plate. And then I'm going to take one of my black olives and I'm going to cut it lengthwise. And then I'm going to cut it again crossways and just use that fourth of it there. And that way that's the perfect little ladybug head. So what I like to do is go ahead and take just a little slice off of the front end of my tomato too so that it sits a little flatter together like that right there. Let me bring that up and see if you guys can see. And That just sits so neatly against it there. So then all I'm going to do is draw a line down the middle and draw on some spots with my food rider. Just a narrow line right down the center to separate those wings and then just some little round spots. Just a few, three or four on each side maybe. Turn them around. And then I'm just going to take my knife, slide up under there, and just lay him right onto my bed of spinach here. Now I just thought that was a cute little way on the spinach there to present those for the video today for you guys. But you can just add these to the top of a salad or anything that you want. I think that's a really good way to get the kids involved and get them to eat their vegetables. And if it's something cute like that, I'm sure they would. So now for the easier one, I'm just going to use a whole grape tomato here. And I'm going to take a black olive and cut that in half crossways. I'm going to use that right on there as the ladybug's head. So you can kind of hold it up there and see how it fits to decide if you want to slice off a little bit here to make it flatter. I think when you make it flatter it fits a little better which looks a little more like a ladybug. So for that one I'm just going to take a toothpick and skewer that right through until my little frills here on that become like the antenna on the ladybug. So now we're just going to draw on our dots just like we did on the first one. This one's a little easier to handle because of the toothpick. So we've got that to hold as a handle and we can just draw our stripe right down and then the dots. And like I said, I prefer to do it without the toothpick just because I like to avoid using non-edible elements whenever I can, especially if there are children involved because I don't want something they might hurt themselves on. 
but if you're doing that garden party theme for an older group or maybe a group of ladies or for Mother's Day, then I think this would be really cute on the skewer with the little antenna there. And you could serve that up just any way you like. I think these are so cute and I just love these food router markers. They make it so much easier. So it would be super quick to just throw some of these together to add on to a salad on top of a cheese and cracker for an hors d'oeuvre. However you serve them up, I'm sure everyone's going to love them. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to everything in the description below. So be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.